Oh, help me! Help me! I am trapped in the bosoms of Miss Robin Hood herself. What a dreamy redhead. Oh, I love her 36 double Ds. However, will I keep warm? I got a couple of ideas. <laughs> Try not to come. I'm gonna come. <laughs> While we've been doing our silly little jokes and sketches, you've been sitting there gasping, this is the greatest show I've seen in my life. Ladies and gentlemen, now if I was an employee with Disney and I was either working at Disneyland or World, and I dared as a meter and greeter to say that at the gir per girly gates, the pearly gates of those two massive amusement parks. Do you know what will happen to me? I would be fired. I'd probably have a lawsuit thrown at my face because I dared not to encompass everybody in that opening salutation. Of course, when I get into this article, you will know exactly what I am talking about. Now, I want to add a little disclaimer very quickly. I have nothing against men who dress in women's clothing, drag queens for entertainment purposes, albeit in pantomime when you've got a celebrated gay icon like Sir Ian McKellen, who played Widow, not Widow Wanky, but Widow Twanky. Oh no, he didn't. Oh yes, he did. In Puss in Boots, many, many times on the London stage. And that's fine. I love Ian McKellen anyway. And he's a pretty based dude off stage, off screen. He's, pretty, he's a pretty cool guy. And of course, when he played Gandalf in the original Lord of the Rings, did anybody have a problem? Of course not. However, there is a bit of a more sinister problem going on with Disney at the moment. Those wokesters are not just doubling down on their agenda to push identity politics all over the place, but it is unfortunately infiltrating Disneyland and Disney World. Well, you don't believe me? Check this footage out here. So apparently this is something that's resurfaced just this week and the libs of TikTok, God bless those guys and gals, have published it today. Uh, Disney has men dressed as women wearing dresses, greeting children at some of their attractions. Now, just take a look at this. The Bobbity Bibbity Boo Boutique. On a normal day, if this was pantomime, you know, you would say, oh, this is just hilarious. But this is not a normal day, folks. This is a bearded, overweight dude meeting and greeting families with kids in tow and making out that everything is normal in the world. Are you kidding me? This is terrible beyond belief i just don't understand why disney perpetuates this of course i'll give you some background videos in a minute but just to kind of follow through with this this story dropped today guitar legend carlos santana apologizes to the trans community after declaring oh shock horror are you ready for this folks a woman is a woman and a man is a man during an atlantic city concert uh, so like his fellow rock stars, Alice Cooper, Paul Stanley from Kiss and Dee Snyder, before him, multi-Grammy award-winning musician Carlos Santana has found himself facing a massive wave of backlash for uh, publicly declaring his dissenting opinion on the concept of transgenderism. Yikes, here we do go again. Uh, does he say here? Oh, you're lying your ass up. Where is the virtual reality? When God made you and me, before we came out of the womb, you know who you are and what you are. Later on when you grow up and you see things and you start believing that you could be something that it sounds good, but you know it ain't right. Because a woman is a woman and a man is a man. Yeah. So 
So what's wrong with that? He's just saying a very basic biological statement, right? The crowd are cheering. They're not being upset by what he said. But I tell you what, if you read further into this article from Bounding Into Comics, Carlos Santana is a born again Christian. Now, normally I say that particular religion is vilified against straight white men. But obviously, Carlos Santana, by his name, you know he's not. So, heaven forbid you take on the mantle of Christianity and you're just standing on stage in a public arena stating a biological fact that is correct. Well, what happens? You get vilified by members of those communities who probably don't even like Carlos Santana and his music. And he bent the knee and he apologized to them, which you never do. You never apologize. You never give up. You never surrender. Uh, but just going back to this Disney story here now. Oh, God, yes. So uh, remember this guy earlier on in the year? Disney employing a drag queen at the Princess Boutique because when families turn up with their little daughters who are very excited to see a Disney princess in front of them, they're greeted with a monstrosity who's grown a beard and hasn't told them why they're dressed that way. Let's have a look. So my name's Nick. I want to pay you guys. I'm here to shop you around and make all your selections for the day. So Nick is such a great actor, he has to read off a little auto cue in his hands. Wow. Disney Remember magic. When Disney theme parks were wholesome and not obsessed with foisting political paranoias onto children? Seems like a distant memory now. It doesn't matter. It's in the past. <laughs> Also, I don't know what's more upsetting. The drag queen getups greeting little girls as they go in to try on princess costumes or the fact that one dress is $250. So Yeah, well, $250 is quite extortionate. But what is she going well, to Disney say here? Disney is corrupting kids and robbing parents. How yeah, exactly. That's exactly what Disney are doing. Siobhan, Alex, this is a betrayal of girls at Disney, especially little girls who learn from fairy tales like Cinderella, that girls like themselves face adversity, but they can also overcome that adversity and come out stronger. This is a degraded parody of the heroines that we love. I think that's what she's meant to say. Uh, and it's getting a lot of uh, quote tweets and likes, which is fantastic. And it's a true fact. It really is. The real Snow White, ladies and gentlemen, when you take your families with your sons and daughters and they want to see their Disney characters come to life, this is what they should be seeing. Your Highness. Servant. Wow to me, my dear. Very good. <laughs> Isn't that spectacular? If I saw that 20 years ago, I'd be thinking, holy crap, they really do get the Disney magic, don't they? But unfortunately, folks, I have to uh, bring it down a notch when I show you this. Remember, Disney reimagined tomorrow. Why is Disney doubling down so hard on this really weird ESG nonsense that I do bring up in my videos from time to time? Here's a glim reminder, folks. I felt like... It was, I mean, like, maybe it was that way in the past, but I guess, like, something must have happened in the last, like, like they are turning it around, they're going hard. Let's have these two characters kiss. Let's, in the background, this are, like, I was just... Dreamers of all ages. I'm, I'm here as a mother of, of two queer children, actually. Um, uh, one transgender child um, um, and one pansexual child. And so there you go. This is a responsible mother, supposedly, who's got two queer children. One is a pansexual and one is a transgender kid. Really? Wow. Holy shit. Where are social services when you need them? So Disney reimagined tomorrow. This is a video they thought nobody would take notice of. And quite clearly, people have really run the gauntlet with this because it's disgusting. It's depraved. Uh, you shouldn't go out and support Disney anyway. I hope they do see a decline in their amusement parks very soon because Universal, from videos I've seen online, are absolutely killing Disney when it comes to uh, just not bringing in woke propaganda into their product. It's about families in a safe haven. And now I'm not talking just about Jill Valentine's cleavage, but that is an absolutely safe haven.
or havens. <laughs> So yeah, guys, wanted to bring that to your attention. You're going to see these photographs circulating more and more on videos like this and around Twitter. So again, libs of TikTok, they do certainly rock when it comes to exposing these awful, painful truths. And will there be a day when families can rock into Disneyland or World and not have the fear of a gender shoved in their faces? Well, if you agree or disagree, leave a comment below, leave a like, share and share a like. And if I were you, and if you were me, you better come back for the next video. And uh, I have to go and watch Ahsoka really shortly. Yeah, I still cannot get around to watching that bloody... Ugh. I have a funny feeling that the next video I make about that is going to be filled with rage. Feminine rage. Next time on Kung Fu Hot Dog. We've got a